Well, I got hurt about the first scrimmage of this past uh, spring ball. I don't necessarily remember how it happened, but I do remember Olam had fallen on me. I just remember the pain that I felt after that incident, and uh, I just had to go go sit down, go have somebody look at it. You know, I knew something was wrong. My job here at Michigan State is dual certified as a physical therapist and athletic trainer, and I serve as the assistant athletic trainer for the football team. So many things that are rewarding for my job. It's really getting the guys back to the field. That's what I love about this job most, that it is such a puzzle and there's always something new every day, but getting them back onto the field and knowing that we made them better and made them succeed and feel good is, is exactly why I do what I do. Tank, I think, was a little down at first. We knew he had a meniscal tear. From there, he tried to play with it. Things didn't seem to be going kind of the way we wanted them to, he wanted them to, and coaches wanted them to go. So we decided to do the route of surgery with him. First few days, I was really stiff. Like, any kind of sudden movement caused pain, you know, like any kind. It was terrible. Okay. We'll do one more quad set and then I'll let you prop it up for a second. Come on, deep breaths. There, good. I had my flat hand there and we were almost touching the table. That was good. Our main goal when he first came to us and any time after surgery is to get rid of the swelling and control the pain. Those are our two biggest things right away. And then the next step would be to kind of gain some range of motion. And with him, and especially with the knee, it's super important to gain that full extension. We've really been cranking on his knee and it is a little bit of a process and some people take longer than others. It kind of just depends. And when he originally hurt his knee, he was kind of a chronic sweller. There it is, good. So we kind of had a feeling that swelling was kind of going to be a portion of this rehab that we're gonna to have to really fight a little bit and control. Usual time, I would say anywhere between like four to six weeks would be probably average, and that's kind of what we're aiming for. Propping your heel up if you can, or on a, on a chair, right? So if you're sitting, have it propped up so your leg's kind of holding straight. All right. All righty, sir, good work today. I'm gonna start from the beginning. Here we go. All right, let's look for that contraction. There it is. Right there. Can I go one more? Is that good? Control. Sure. It is good. That's what I'm looking for. It's not too much movement, but it's a lot of movement internally. Some days are better than others. Jensen makes everything better. She always cheer me on, but it's some days, you know, she keep a firm fist because, you know, we gotta get the job done. I gotta get back on the field. She know how to balance it. I think that's something she does well. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. There it is, good. Good. Yep. Breathe, 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 breathe. Her letting me pick the exercises, it allows me to kind of have a say-so in like how much I can push myself. You know, even though she's pushing me herself, it gives me that choice. If I don't want to do a certain thing, you know, maybe we can do something different. Being able to be uh, flexible with me is just great. I'm proud of you, that's awesome. Pull back. Pull, 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 pull. Some of the biggest things we look for to get them walking and take away the crutches is one, being able to full weight bear and being able to put weight fully through that leg. And then and that full knee extension, being able to have that and the quad control. So those kind of go hand in hand with the full extension comes with full quad activation. So we really hit home on that early too, is getting the quad firing that helps with the extension and then making sure he has the control as he steps through to hold his weight. Okay. I'm gonna start ramping you up nice and easy. Yep. Okay. Okay. You need something else to let us know, otherwise we want to see you next week. Okay. Yes, sir. I have been lifting weights and doing a little other uh, mobility things. It all ties together tremendously because if one isn't working like the other one is, something's going to be off. So they all got to work together to, you know, get me back and better. Stay strong every day, you know what I'm saying? Just working. Got to get back to the grind, you know? I 
I feel very supportive here. How are you? I'm good. Good? Yeah, hey, yeah. about that? Players have came to assist me or check up on me. Coaches have done the same now that I'm at my lowest, and I appreciate it all. You ready? Yeah, you can do like six or seven. Six? Let's start with six for this one. One of our options that we've utilized is the underwater treadmill. The idea mostly is to kind of get them going towards normal activity, and what we do is we try and progress them in the water to try and get them more towards the ground. So it's just a stepwise progression to get them back to running on the ground. I just got to keep pushing it. You're doing really good. I'm proud of you, though. Appreciate you. Whew. It's good hard work. It's a joke, man. Him never having surgery before, this was a whole new experience for him, and every athlete is completely different. For me, it's super important to meet them at their level and to really get to know them, because that's how I can guide their treatment and push them. So finding out what does drive him and what kind of makes his uh, wheels turn is how I feel like I've really been able to push him in ways, because some days he didn't always want to do what I asked him to do, but he did work through it, and he has worked really hard up to this point. Hey, we met our goal. So we gotta keep doing every day. That's the hope that we just keep getting better. Little wins every day. During practice, he was able to be out there. On the side here, you can start moving around a little bit and pretending like you're in the play and walking through these plays. Like, let's start doing that. Any way I can involve football for him is really what drives him. So I've been trying to find any way I can to involve him in some type of football activity as we go. It feel good right now, man. Just focus on getting at its full potential, you know? A little shaky, but we strengthen it every day. I already had interactions with Jensen before I actually started working with her. I already knew her personality was upbeat, and she just always kept a smile on her face, so I knew that I had a good person by my side. I'm thankful for that, and I appreciate her for that. It helps me go and help the next guy. It teaches me things that the last person didn't teach me. There's always something new. Now I can help the next guy even better than what I've helped Tank. So to me, that's super rewarding. And that's what this profession is about, is continuing to learn. Simply put, it's just bittersweet. That's the best part of my job, is seeing them get back out there. And succeeding is the other thing. And watching them succeed and feeling good about what they're doing and being back to the field is just honestly indescribable because it's just a feeling that you get that, one, you've done your job, but they've done their job and they're back to play and doing what they love and what they're here to do. Another day, another dollar. Back at the bridge. How you feeling about this season? Man, bro, I can't wait to rock out with y'all boys. What about you? I swear, I'm excited, man. I think we're gonna be really good. Yes, sir. Got a lot to prove. I don't know if he can mess with me and Pig. I got root. You started off. You got it. I started off. Oh, yeah, he a, little a little warm up shot. If you miss this one, it's going to hurt your heart. Oh. oh I oh. got him. That's cool. That's cool. I got him. That's cool. Bro, you know what's crazy, bro? What? You really catching, bro. Nah, yeah. I was thinking about, I was thinking about that the other day. What That's you crazy. think you're going to bring, like, to the table, like, as a captain? I am more quiet, but, like, I think it'll be just, you know, level-headedness. Yeah. Being able to be calm, like, you know how a coach getting them huddles, and Man, the you know how crazy. Young, the young bucks, they just start losing it yeah. a little bit, and just having somebody that's in their ear, just being like, you know what, it's not like, calm down, like, we're yeah. gonna be straight, it's good, we're gonna make it through the game, we're gonna win the game, and we're gonna go on to the next one. Yeah. Stuff like that. What about you? Bro, I'm just gonna be the energy guy. Like, you know how I get. Yeah. I like, I like yelling, screaming, yeah. get y'all hype. Excited. Because once, once we get hype, it's I don't over. Think nobody in the country can mess with us. No. Once we turn up, it's bad. So that's that's really what I want to bring. Hype. Make sure everybody calm, though. Keep everybody calm and just go out and win, bro. Yeah. That's it. Ugh. I'm money with this. We gonna shoot the slot. Ugh. See, mine's they touch a rim. I don't. Okay. Shot for shot. That's all I call it. Bro, I remember when you first walked in, I met you. Like, you just brought that vibe mm. to everybody. Like, it was just a brother. Like, we got one. He having fun. He gonna love it. Yeah. And it turned out to be great. Yeah. I remember when I first met you, I walked in here. And all I hear is, like, you down the hall. Like, hey, 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 hey. And I just see you walking <laughs> in. And I'm like, 
I was like, bro, what's this dude doing, bro? And I just, I just remember laughing because he was so goofy all the time, and it was just like, it was like a positive vibe that like yeah. that's needed here, like a smile on your face, and you just came in, like you automatically brought everybody else's vibe just yeah. up more, no matter how they was feeling. It's gonna be a long day. That's good. Yep. It's okay. SP. I'm, just, just give it I'm to gonna me. hold SP. on. I got it. SP. Got only P. SP. This is not the SP. Yeah. You're right. SP. What are you most excited for this season? First playing at MSG. Yeah. That's one. Like, that one's gonna be crazy. After that, I just, I just want to win Natty. Yeah. That's it. I think for everybody me. do. What about everybody, you? Everybody got the same goal. Obviously, the, the Natty. Yeah. I think I think the Bahamas gonna probably be oh, the I'm most fun. Yep. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Come back. He's not ready for the sky hook. Uh, uh. Come on, wow. man. Wow. Come on, man. Lay down. Uh. And one. Floater. Bow. Yes, sir. Yo, go ahead and float it too. Uh, uh, bang! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> PI! PI! Legacy wise, I feel like I want people to remember me as just a person that just worked hard. Worked hard for everything as soon as he walked in. But I want them to remember me because I'm getting a national championship. I just want people to know I was genuine about everything that I went about. Yeah. I, I never swayed from like who I was, and I I'm just genuine about how I went about things. Yeah. Whether it was on the court, like it was genuine passion, or if it was off the court, like I was genuine, like I cared for people. Yeah. And then, shoot, doing all that, and then bringing a big trophy home. Shoot. That's all I want. All you can't right. ask for much more. You I swear. Ask, you can't ask for much more. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> okay, fam. Oh, come on, man. I got range. Game time. Send him home. Bye bye. Let's go. Uh, you want to know something about me? I hit shots. It's a free throw to me. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Ah. First time. First time ever. First time I ever lost in big, so it was cool. Solid game. Follow again. We appreciate all y'all, for real. That's really how it is, you feel me? Appreciate, appreciate all, all of them. All y'all. of them coming around, showing love. I'm just, I'm just happy y'all get to be back. Okay, nobody Somebody get country, to cheer me on when I make a shot. Nobody in the country can mess with the is on. I'm calling it out. Nobody. No school in the country. They ain't seen the breads packed out yet. God. It's gonna be packed out. I don't want no seats. No seats. No seats. There better be no seats in there. Woo! Money. It shows a lot of your heart when it comes to sports, I think, and that's like a big part of my game. And so uh, I just like the team atmosphere and just like, I can be 110% myself when I play. My dad actually knew the varsity coach at my school. The varsity coach is a friend of mine from high school and where we lived, our house backed right up to one of the schools. So for years after years after years, we had a chance to actually see how many people were going to the school. We could tell that there was something going on in the school, volleyball related. In our community, we have an AAU program, which means we're really pretty lucky for that. So when she got about that old, a bunch of notifications went out that they were looking for third graders to join. She was only in first grade. I was only six, so they didn't really think anything of it at the time, but he called the coach and he was like, hey, like, I know she's really young for your program, but can she like come try out? And I remember walking in the gym and he would, they pulled me off to the side, like away from everyone else. And he would just toss balls to me. Literally two balls in, I, I remember this. He looked at my dad and he was like, yep, she's in. We thought maybe a mascot. Coach came over right away, was talking to me about it, took her off to the side and did a little bit of work with her and came back and said, we don't want her as a mascot, we want her to play. So for us, it was like, okay, you know, let's, let's do this. So we were all about doing it right then. 
My dad was my coach pretty much like my whole life because he helped coach uh, that small AAU program. I started coaching her because I coached her brothers previously. And I would coach one for about as long as I could and then it was time to pass them off to another coach. And then after coaching um, one of her brothers, he was done and we just started doing volleyball. For the first year I watched, um, but after that I was like, now nah, I'm gonna get involved and we got, I got involved. The dynamic between me and my father when it came to volleyball, it was very up and down. <laughs> we definitely had our highs, that's for sure, because uh, I was very successful in it. But he also held me to like a different standard, I think, than a lot of the other girls he coached because I was his daughter and he didn't want me to be the coach's kid. He didn't want me to like get away with a lot of stuff. With her, it was super easy because I didn't really have to do a whole lot with her. She just was really just self-motivated and she attacked practice. It was really about just kind of staying out of her way and let her go do her thing and it allowed me to coach everybody else a lot more. I think having my dad as my coach definitely did impact my love for the game. I think naturally, like, I did love it to begin with because I do love sports in general, but I think seeing how close we got and he was the one putting in just as many hours as I was. So yeah, like I think he definitely impacted how much I actually love the game and still do to this day. Like he keeps me like my mind on the right track. I always talk to her about the fact that we did so much travel that this year was our first year we went to Florida without her, which is where Nationals is held. And you look up in the rearview mirror and she's not sitting there. And that was for the very first time. And that's when I realized how much it actually meant to, to be there and to watch her do her thing and just enjoy the entire experience. I came to Michigan State in seventh grade, and this is when Holly Tolliver, uh, Rachel, all of them were here, and they weren't here yet. So they were just commits at the time. And I ended up getting put in a group with them. Mind you, I was only a seventh grader, so I was like a baby. And so I was playing with them, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like I, I love it, like, because they're they're great, like great players, even in high school they were. Seeing that atmosphere, knowing what Michigan State was like about to be, and finding out more later on like what they were at the time, I'm like, wow, this place is great. And then seventh grade, I got to know Kathy at that time, and so that was really cool. Starting at such a young age, it was always kind of like a home for me. I think that just kind of carried on, like Kathy is like a mom figure in my eyes, and. She does have tough love, but at the end of the day, like she would do anything for anyone. And so I think that really, I, I'm big on loyalty and I could see that's how she is too as a person. And so for me, that was just like a really big thing when it went to the whole like recruiting process and what I wanted to do at the next level. I just was really happy for her because she was just so driven and she wanted big division one, obviously big 10 even makes it even more special. I was all in on whatever she wanted as a player and wherever she wanted to go. And then, of course, having it here made it even more cool. My experience here at Michigan State has been unbelievable. Best four years of my life. Easy, hands down. Definitely family atmosphere here. And I'll, I mean, I hold it dear to my heart. And the people I've met, the experiences I've made with everyone on and off the court, it's indescribable, like, I've loved every second of it. Watching her from being in first grade, little pink knee pads, and being able to literally walk underneath the net without touching the net, to playing at Michigan State. It is, it has been quite a journey, all self-motivated, all driven, you know, by what she wanted. We've just spent so much time together. A lot of trips, a lot of road trips, a lot of practices. You know, the last one we went on was down in Florida. It was just her and I. Mom couldn't go. It was spur of the moment. So we had that time together. It just, when you get a chance to have your daughter sit next to you and talk to you openly and honest about anything and everything, it's pretty special. 
I give all the credit to my dad because he was there for like all the long car rides, all the long talks, and all the breakdowns that I would go through. And so yeah, he was my coach for pretty much, still is to this day in my world, still my coach. I think it definitely made our relationship a lot closer and I wouldn't trade it for anything.